Now, there's a reason why I'm going to start off with this first one. I want you to see this first one because it's going to lead into what they're planning, what the elites are planning. Now, this first article, and first video, actually, I do believe it's a video. Yeah. Klaus Schwab. Humanity must be forced into collaboration with elites. Listen to what this man says. Listen to, we're going to get into the video. Listen to what he says. Because this watch what protein shakes do to your body is going to be interesting. This is a protein drink. You've got almond butter. Did you know there is a natural way to regrow teeth and gums your dentist won't tell you about? There's one simple dental hack anyone can. At the same time, we are witnessing rapid technological advances with many opportunities and with artificial intelligence rapidly transforming our production, and our lives. And breakthroughs from the fourth industrial revolution provide new opportunities for global prosperity and growth. All those factors will have a profound impact on the future of humanity, provided we are able to work together. To drive future economic growth, we must embrace innovation and foster collaboration across sectors, regions, nations, and cultures to create a more peaceful, inclusive, sustainable, and resilient future. There's a reason why I'm pausing it here. I want you to hear this. If you get nothing out of what, out of all the stories that I shared today, take this away. Listen to what this man says. Listen to what this man says. Listen to what he says because it's important you know this. They will always tell you what they want. They'll always tell you what they're scared of. Listen to the word. To drive future economic growth, we must embrace innovation and foster collaboration across and force the collaboration across sectors, regions, nations, and cultures to create it. People. They always will tell on themselves. Sectors, regions, nations, and cultures to create a more peaceful, inclusive, sustainable, and resilient future. At this critical juncture, the active participation of all stakeholders is essential to ensure a sustainable development path. I'm delighted that close to 2,000 leaders from multiple sectors representing some 80 countries and regions have come to Dalian for this year's meeting. And they think people, 
there's a reason because what I'm gonna get into is with this the force into collaboration with the elite. The way they're gonna do this, the way they're going to do this, and everything's provided for you today. Everything is provided for you. All right, let's continue. How stems launch united effort against the election bill requiring voters to prove citizenship. Democrats are urged to vote no on HR 8281, a web question, a web question states. House Democrats lost the united effort to vote against a Republican-backed election bill that would require voters provide proof of citizenship to cast ballots in federal elections. Republicans are pushing the passage of the Safeguard American Voter Eligibility Act, otherwise known as the Safe Act, which would amend the National Voter Registration Act and require states to obtain proof of citizenship from voters for federal elections, as well as purge non-citizens from voter rolls. All right. This is their shadow campaign. This is the Democrats' shadow campaign. They are showing us, before the election even happens, before November even happens, they're showing us what their, their plan is. Elon Musk warns Democrats are preparing to use non-citizen votes to steal election. <laughs> Billionaire Elon Musk issued a stark warning that Democrats are planning to steal more federal elections by allowing non-U.S. citizens to cast votes. U.S. Democrats are planning to block legislation that would require voters to prove the U.S. citizenship in federal elections. If successful, it would give Democrats the opportunity to repeat what they did in 2020 election and more. Hmm. Why? Let's continue. And there's a reason why I'm doing this next one. The election fixes in, but GOP still has a chance to stop it. We actually do have a way to fix, to stop this. Democrats are against a House Republican-sponsored bill requiring voters to prove their U.S. citizen, their U.S. citizens before casting a ballot. Republican text rep Chip Roy introduced the safe. We all know that. Not surprising, Democrats are firmly against the Save Act, claiming that any justification for the bill is built on falsehoods about the, our election system. The White House put out a statement Monday morning, and over the weekend, Axios reported that House Democrats plan on bringing out the big guns against the bill when it comes for a vote this week. Huh. My question is, murders against the law, why does that happen? I know where they're going to go. I already, because I've already read this article. Murder, the... The alleged justification for this bill is based on easily disproven falsehood. Additionally, making a false claim of citizenship and unlawfully vetting in an election is punishable by removal from the United States and a permanent bar to administration. States have effective safeguards in place to verify.
But the thing about it, they are going to try to use this is why I tell you, do not believe the polls. This is why I tell you, don't believe the polls. Why? Because this is going to happen. We need more people to cast ballots than ever before. Why? Because it will prove. If you have, if you're voting for Trump and you know people that want to vote for him, take them with you. Because they're going to use the illegal alien. They're going to do it out in, uh, they're going to do it in New York because New York allows uh, illegals to vote. Washington, D.C., California. There are going to be places that are going to let this happen because Democrats are scared. <laughs> yes, hit that like button. Thank you. They're going to use the illegal aliens. They already said that it's against the law. Well, murder's against the law and it happens every freaking day. This is why they are flooding the southern border. And many of us have known this. I'm just now speaking up on this because we need to get ahead of this. Get if you are if you have Republican states. If you live in a Republican controlled state, get your legislation to pass voter ID laws. Get them to pass it. Because they do not want, they want to try to make this as easy as possible. No, we don't want elections easy. We don't want it to be easy to vote. You have to go through some hoops to get to vote. They want they want us to think that Trump is up big. That's why I tell you, don't worry about the polls. This is going to happen, people. They're going to use this. They don't like that people are getting out in front of it three to four months before November. This is their this is their shadow campaign that they did in 2020 that Time magazine told us all about. It's funny how stuff like this works out. It's funny how that works out. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and you see, I got the best researcher in the game. <laughs> oh. oh, for crying out loud. Oh, uh, thank you, Miss Tay. And Miss Tay, do me a favor. Find me the Time Magazine article talking about the shadow campaign. That was back in February of 2021. I know, I don't, I, I probably have it somewhere. I just don't know where. Now, and this is why I love having people 
that keep me informed. Let's go here. This is what, and believe me, Democrats don't like this to come out. They do not like this. Our demographic, our demographics destiny, maybe not, maybe not, new Pew numbers suggest. This article is part of the DC Brief Times Politics Newsletter. It's become something of a cliche in Washington for Democratic strategies to assert demographics are destiny. What they mean is the diversifying electorate and the shrinking role of white voters will render Republicans incapable of sustaining power for much longer after Barack Obama won his 2008. Democratic legend James Kerrville even wrote a book predicting as much. 40 years, how Democrats will rule the next generation remains a fantastic if flawed reading of American trajectory. The argument has become so accepted in liberal and progressive circles that the pushback has been minimal. Until uh, conservatives like myself and others have fully understood what it meant. They want to replace, they want to replace the American voter with illegal immigrants. That's what they mean by demographic destiny. They want to replace Americans with all the all immigrants, especially illegal ones, if they can get the amnesty to go through. This is why they hate when people start showing their plan. But they, but the demographics is destiny. They've played their hand. 